Hello viewers, welcome to my another video. Today's video, I gonna show you how to go live from pre-recorded video. I am using OBS, but there are lots of software to do that. OBS is completely free software and it has no watermark after go on live. So I feel comfort go live through OBS software. After install OBS software, you can see the similar interface. First things you need to customize that it has two sounds, desktop audio and mixed audio. So you need to first mute this on if it is pre-recorded live. And after that, you need to go to source and from plus sign, you need to add image or thumbnail that you want to show before playing your video so you can rename it here i'm just put it down cover after that okay now i will click on browse and from my computer i'll select the image that i want to show before playing the video okay and one thing is very important that here is showing black background it is your output screen so make sure you fill it off in proper way okay once it is done I'll go to add media source. So here I will write down video. You can put any anything. Okay. After that, I am going to browse my file and okay. So from scenes, I will add scenes three. Okay. So as I am using two scenes, so I will rename it. One will be on, another one will be two. Okay, two and on. Now I'll go to settings. After that, I'll click on hotkeys and from here, scene one, I will put number one and scene two, it will be number two. So that from keyboard, I can control everything. If I press on from my keyboard, it is showing only the image and if I press on two, so it is showing video now. I will open up my Facebook account and after facebook.com, I'll write down live slash create and after that enter. Okay, once you see this, you will click on create live stream from here okay few things need to customize but here is one thing i am showing very basic so that only one or two minutes you can go on live anyway here is share to your timeline if you want to go live from your timeline it is okay but if you go to live on your facebook page you need to click on the second one and here is another option for group so as i want to go to live from my page i'm going to share to your page i manage so if i click on drag down here it will show my pages so from this one i'll go to live so i'm going to click on Prodip. now you have to put put it down your title of the live so as this is test for video tutorial so i'm going to write down here test and here you can also give some explanation why is the life for but as though this is tutorial i am going to put it test here again okay after that you have an option for cross post to more pages or it means if you have more pages to go on live or you want to so that you can cross post it from here okay after that you need to copy stream key from here and now go to obs software click on settings after that go to stream and from here you need to paste stream key that you copied from there and make sure it is selected facebook live once it is done go to output and make sure it is advanced you can also say it here audio bitrate it is by default 160 here i am keeping it but you can change it here you can put it 128 192 as per your requirement of your video and from audio there is many more options to select and uh, from fps values i am keeping 30 but you can put it 23 if it is consist 23 of your video and of course resolution i'm keeping 2080 into 720 fig gel but you can change it as per your requirement from here okay now it's time to start streaming so i'm going to click on start streaming if you see green color after clicking on streaming so that you can understand all are okay now you need to go to that page so that you can see the thumbnail now if you click on go live it will go live in a second so i'm going to click on go live so it is connecting and showing live so it is going on so from this software i will click on now scene 2 so that it will play video there 
so as you can see the video is playing and it is live here if i go to that page so as you can see here i am watching from my page here and it is live now as you can see taste live here is going on if you want to end your live video so need to click on end live video from here so that it will be end in a second and you have the option to rate their broadcast software so i'm going to rate their five so this was a very simple video for how to go live from pre-recorded video it is a great software because it has no watermark Hopefully this tutorial will help you to go live from pre-recorded video. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. If it is helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share to your friends. Thank you very much.